And welcome to part three of our in-depth tutorial for beginners on how to draw ponies in Adobe Illustrator. So last time we left off, we had just started drawing Applejack, beginning with her ear. And in this part of the tutorial, I'm going to continue to trace the rest of her body and her mane and her hat and so forth, getting our basic outline for our vector set up. And so a lot of this is going to be sped up so you don't have to watch me take the painstaking hours to draw what I am doing and I do exaggerate with hours it usually takes me about 20 minutes to do something this basic except for when I'm doing a tutorial because I have to talk <laughs> which takes me longer so let's go ahead and continue what we are doing I'm going to use the P shortcut for our pen tool and we're going to continue on with what we were drawing before. Now, I had you guys adjust the width profile of our lines earlier. Usually, though, I just go ahead and lay down all the lines first before changing any of that, just so I can have everything uh, set up. And it, it goes faster that way. So continuing on, we're going to make sure we're on the proper layer, our body layer. And we're going to continue to trace Applejack's body. <laughs> So just like that, we're already done with our body for Applejack. We have all the basic lines already set up. If we go ahead and turn off the visibility of our pictures layer, we can see that we already have a pretty solid outline going for AJ here. There's a couple spots like this anchor point here that you can tell that there's an anchor point there, and we don't want that. We want it all to be very smooth curves for the most part, including her leg here and so forth, to try to resemble as much as we can the original drawing done by Hasbro. So you notice here that even though the lines, the visibility of the lines go behind her mane for her arms here, I continued up anyway because that helps with the direction of your um, path so it doesn't cut off as neatly and with our layering we're going to be able to fix that <clears throat> and that's that's the beautiful thing about Illustr illustrator and vector work is that you can go back and change pretty much anything you want at any time uh, that you did before so really really nice thing to have available to you I'm gonna go ahead and actually bump that back down to one I prefer working with only one stroke line so I can see what I'm doing so control s to save we're going to go over to her mane now. Again, keeping in mind the layering order here, her ear is an exception, though I did draw that on the body layer. I usually almost always end up moving that later. I don't know why I just don't draw it on the main layer, but because the ear is almost always in front of the mane, as you can see in both parts, both the lower and upper part, the ear is in front. Uh, however, with that being said, the mane is in front of most of the rest of her body lines elsewhere. So that is why we have the mane up here and not below the body layer. So uh, again, we can just use black lines because they stand out the most. And then there's really no, or at least not many ponies that have a solid black outline to them. So it stands out the best. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay. Control S again to save. So her main's pretty much done. Again, doing um, vectors, just straight tracings from screen captures you get are actually very simple and can be done again in about 20 minutes if I wasn't explaining everything I do as I do it. So we're the only thing again that we haven't really drawn yet is this uh, the red part, the hair band or whatever you want to call it in her main or main band. <laughs> Uh, because that is going to actually be a uh, solid fill, and I will get to that later when we do the coloring on her mane. So, just moving on, we're going to go down to tail. We have a tail section, so we can go ahead and draw her tail a while. Again, just using the same method, we're probably going to fast forward this, and you can just kind of see how things go. Alright, so her tail is done, again, except for the bands that she has in them, which are stinking adorable. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, so all we got left now is her hat to do the outline and her eyes. So what we're going to do is actually going to pop up a new layer. Now, Applejack's pretty much the only pony, I say almost the only pony, that has a hat. And I'm going to actually change the color of this layer here because it's gray. And since we're going to be drawing in black lines for now, gray is somewhat hard to see. And actually what's harder to see is black because they do have that option. But you have a bunch of different color swatches here to choose from to change your layers to. I'm going to go ahead and since we're drawing this on her hat, we can make it orange. This would not work at all on her body because it's orange. But for her hat, we should be just fine. So new layer hat. This is actually going to be behind her mane and mane fill. Uh, even though it's on top of her head, it's behind in this image. If we were looking at her from the back, it would be on top. But since we're not, we're not. So again, you see this little, this is a good time to mention this, you see this little half slash backslash line. Actually, I guess that would be a forward slash. Uh, that means you're actually going to continue on with that line from that anchor point. So normally it has this little star, the asterisk, that means you're starting a new one. This line here means that you're starting, or excuse me, that you're continuing that line that you've already drawn. Sometimes it'll give you that when you don't want it, so pay attention to that because the last thing you want is to connect lines that shouldn't be connecting. <laughs> So, her hat's done for now, as far as I'm concerned. We can go back to that later. And, okay. So, last thing is her eyes. The lonely line work we're doing on her eyes is actually her eyelashes, if you will, and eye... I don't know if I can throw that an eyebrow, because when they actually do some expressions, you see their eyebrows. And this is pretty much just her eyelashes. So we're going to go ahead and make that curve there. It's pretty solid. I can't really see because it's black on black. So we'll go ahead and turn that off. I want to adjust that ever so slightly. Okay, yeah, black on, this is the only black on black part you have on every pony. It's kind of annoying. So sometimes it's a good idea to just change the color of your lines as you're drawing them. But we're not going to do that right now. Okay, notice here, you see this symbol that's showing up here? Um, that is when you're drawing a line and your next anchor that you're wanting to place happens to be on top of another anchor from another line. Pretty much all this is saying is it wants to connect the two lines together and make them a single whole line. 
Uh, sometimes it's okay to do that, but most of the time you really don't want to, um, unless you made a mistake and going back and filling in a new line. So if you see that symbol, make sure you get that off of there. You can kind of still get really close without getting it exactly on by zooming in and clicking off there. So not quite the same. I don't want to do, I don't want to connect this line. You can, I've done it in the past, but for now I have been choosing not to as of recent. This is the trickiest part here. You, the, their eyes are going to be your least favorite part, I think. At least it is for me because it is the most difficult to get quite right. Now you can see here again that her eyelash or whatever you want to call this part, eyebrow, whatever, is ending before it reaches the outline for her nose. So there is a bit of a gap there that is just solid body fill. It doesn't actually have any kind of outline. So don't make the mistake of making those two lines touch because they aren't supposed to. Except in the case of maybe Granny Smith there because her nose is a bit different than everybody else's. Just a bit. Okay, so with that, we have our entire outline finished. Uh, again, we can make some adjustments to make all our lines smoother. And so I'm probably gonna go ahead and do that now. Okay, now that we're done with that, we're going to be moving on to colors and doing fills and such next. So I'm going to go ahead and start that right now. So we have all our outline done. You know what? Change my mind. That's good enough for now for this video. We'll keep them in small segments. So you have the entire outline of your pony. It looks a little hokey right now because we haven't actually made any line adjustments. Um, but we, you know what, let's go ahead and do that. I won't end this. So to make your line adjustments, we've talked before about we have our stroke weight, variable width profile, and brush definition. Um, mostly going to worry about only the stroke weight and width profile, and then of course the color later on. But uh, at times, I do choose to do brush definition. There's something called the five point round. That can be found uh, in your brush libraries menu. So <clears throat> they give you some generic ones here. Your basic is the one that you're drawing with always generically, unless you change it. It's just your basic line. But if you click this tiny little kind of hidden icon here, it'll drop down and give you a list of these different brushes. I'm going to go to artistic calligraphic, calligraphic, calligraphy. I don't know. Calligraphic. Yeah, I was right. And you have a couple of different options here under each. Now they, they have, a lot of different styles, charcoal, pencil, artistic ink, paintbrush, these are a lot of fun. You have to look through these sometime. But for now, for vector drawing, the only ones I use other than the basic line at times are your one point round and your five point round, or excuse me, three point round. And after we have selected them just once here, we can actually close this and they will now be up here in your recently selected uh, toolbar, if you will. So you can actually change that just to show you kind of what it looks like. Clicking on here, we're going to change this to a three-point round. And you can see it makes a very smooth round-ended round -ended line. And any kind of curves or sharp points in between there are also very, very smooth, um, as you can see here. So no, no jagged edges, no sharp points, which can be nice sometimes because you don't always want super pointy edges like you have for her mane. So, but for the most part, uh, oh, it's something to keep in mind with that. When you do choose to do the three point round, when you change this um, brush definition, you aren't able to adjust the width profile uh, at all. So when you have brush definition, there is no width profile. 
keep that in mind. You can still add stroke weight, but you cannot do <clears throat> with profile, which is what we want to do for things like her nose, because again, like her ear, it tapers off at both ends. Now for this one, we're going to do with profile four, which is similar to with profile one, except it only tapers off at one point. And then you can make that thicker and it looks a bit ridiculous right now, um, but that is okay. So for you guys, I'd recommend just sticking with this basic width profile and you can adjust your widths even further again using that width tool that I taught you in the first part of this video or the second, excuse me, the second, second part of this tutorial is when I taught you that. Now you can actually tell these are not a perfect black. This is just something Adobe does to you at times. Don't really worry about it. <clears throat> we can address that later. So we're going to go ahead and continue to change all of these. Okay, so we've adjusted the width profile of all of our lines, again using either width profile 1 or width profile 4, depending on where they come to a point at. If you cannot see where they end, you don't have to worry about changing that profile. And this again will start to look a lot nicer once we begin adding color. For those of you who follow me on DeviantArt, when I say outlining, this is what I'm referring to. Uh, on my status when I'm outlining somebody's piece or when I'm outlining their request, this is what I'm doing. So it looks a bit goofy right now, but it'll it'll come together very nicely before long. So all right, thanks for watching, guys, and tune in for the next video when we actually add some color.